Hello and welcome to another AC Mod video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kyle's IC7300 alongside the AC Mod standalone with the AC Mod 6. We'll do some tests running the SM5 and then later using the RE20 along with Pro Tools. Although the IQMIC 7300 is an amazing radio, it also has certain restrictions that come along with it. Like a minimum of 5 watts on AM mode, um, you know, 100% modulation restrictions or below. And for that reason, uh, we install the AC mod standalone unit. We can control the carrier down to quarter of a watt and any variation above that up to 15 watts is not recommended to go above 10 watts of carrier and the basic settings on this radio while operating the AC mod standalone should be no more than 75 percent on the power and 50 percent on the mic game looking at the rear you have your line-in connector your ground your PTT and your amp here and this is of course your HDMI connector. One of the nice features of this unit is that by flipping the switch to off, you revert the radio 100% back to factory specs. By the way, if you guys need to know where the AM windows are at, you just go to amwindow.org. And you're gonna see every band. If you wanna do AM on the ham bands, go to amwindow.org. This video is made in part to show the two available methods to adjust your settings on your AC mod standalone unit. We use the PEP method and we use the oscilloscope method. So let's take a look at the setup we're gonna be using today. We're gonna to be running the IC7300 with the AC mod standalone. We're gonna see the difference between using the SM5 stock microphone uh, versus running the RE20 with Pro Tools. And we'll be recording with Sony Vegas, uh, the audio coming out of the IC706, and we're monitoring our modulation on the O-scope right there. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is run an 800 hertz tone on AM through every band. We're going to start at 160 meters, 80 meters, all the way to 10 meters. And we're going to see how that looks on the O-scope. Then we're going to do a voice test. This radio is out of the box, brand new, never used before. So let's see how it performs. Okay, we'll start off by bringing all the controls on the AC mod standalone fully counterclockwise to zero. We're going to make sure our signal generator is off. And then we're going to go on transmit. And we're going to set this for a 1 watt carrier. So we're going to bring up the carrier control up till we see 1 watt in the bird. One watt. Okay, now the next thing we do is set the reference on our O-scope for that one watt carrier. We're going to put two divisions right there. There we have it. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to start the signal generator. And as we can see, we have the envelope but it's, the audio is not loud enough, so we're going to bring up our modulation level just a little bit until we hit the 100% mark. And we should see about four times the carrier power on the meter, which is our 4 watt mark on the bird. There we have it. That's our modulator carrier, it's a 4 watt PEP. -E 
All right, so now let's try a little bit higher carrier. Let's go to a five watt carrier. Let's disable our signal generator. Let's go back to our 7300, go on transmit mode, bring up the carrier till we see our five watt here. That's our five watt mark. Let's adjust our reference on the O-scope. about right okay a little bit down. there we go and now let's start the signal now we come back to the O scope again and we see we have our modulation envelope is a little short of audio so we're gonna go ahead and increase our modulation further and we're gonna raise it up till we hit those 99% negative peaks Right about there. That's our 100% modulation with a 5 watt carrier. We should see on the bird right now 20 watts. Four times your carrier, it's 100% modulation. And we have our 20 watts right there. Perfect. So that's 160 meters. Here we are in 80 meters on the AM window, 3875. And we're going to go ahead and transmit, make sure. Our sig gen is off we're gonna bring it up to a five watt dead key so we'll raise up our carrier until we reach five watts set our reference on our o scope it's already set let's go ahead and start the uh, sig gen and we now see we have our modulation envelope well we need a little more modulation first thing we're going to do is give it a little bit of game a little bit of gain here, about two is okay. And then we're gonna race it up till we get our 100% modulation on there, which should be 20 watts here. So we're just gonna race it up to 20 watts. And we have our 100% modulation right there. Perfect. So there you have it. 7300 on 80 meters now let's give it a little bit of asymmetry bring your asymmetry level just a little bit up and you're going to see those positive peaks climb 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 there you're already at almost 300 percent modulation that's 250 percent actually or bring it back down to your 100 percent modulation that asymmetry gives you the loudness so for those of you that like, like that extra punch, you can always use that asymmetry setting right there. All right, so now we see how it performs in 80 as far as our waveform, our modulation envelope. So let's go to 40 meters now. Switching over to the 40 meter band, we'll do the same. Disable the SIGGEN, bring everything down. and transmit. Bring up your carrier to whatever you want. Let's put it again at a five watt right there. Right there, right there, okay. Come back over here. Start your audio. Monitor your audio envelope. Bring up your modulation. Till you get 100%. And you should see your 20 watts PEP. -E All right. Here we are in 20, and we're going to do the same. We're going to disable the SIGGEN. We're going to put everything counterclockwise. You don't have to do this. Again, I'm just doing it so people get the hang of it because they don't get it. Okay, so 
transmit figure out what carrier you want bring up your carrier I say to five watts again set your reference right there and now run your sig gen there's the modulation envelope we need a little more audio so we'll bring up the modulation until we achieve what we need and we should have 20 watts on the bird right now PEP all right If we bring up the asymmetry, that sounds good right about there. That's the max you want to go, right there. That's a nice mic. All right, so finally we're here in the 10 meter band and we're gonna do the final test with a sine wave. So same thing, bring everything down. Everything down counterclockwise. Uh, disable your audio and start your transmit session. Bring up your carrier to whatever you want. Let's say, let's do a one watt, a one watt carrier. Ever so much desired by all. All right, let's set a reference here. Get a little more intensity. Yeah. There. Let's set nicely, let's do a little less. So now let's start our tone. And uh, then we have our sine wave, our uh, modulation envelope. And uh, bring up the, the gain a little, a little bit, about a quarter way. And bring up the modulation up. So you get there 100% modulation. And uh, when you look at the meter, we have 4 watts PEP. And uh, with the asymmetry, we just bring it up a little bit. If you want to, about right there, it should be good. You can push more if you want to, but you don't want that. You want it right around there. All right, the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll do voice test. All right, let's go ahead and do some voice tests. First thing we're going to do is unplug the line in connector from behind the AC mod standalone unit kill the audio from Pro Tools now we have activated the front uh, mic jack and we can test out the SM5 with the IC7300 we'll go ahead and start recording here in Sony Vegas record and we'll key up the SM5 and we'll start transmitting Audio test one two three one two three four five. Testing the SM5 with the ICOM IC7300. Audio test one two. 
SM5 and the IC7300. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Audio test 1, 2. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and uh, plug in the line in connector and activate Pro Tools. Now we'll key up using the transmit button on the radio and talk into the RE20. Now we're going to be running Pro Tools. Audio 1 2 test. This is the RE20 with uh, Pro Tools running the AC Mod standalone. While we record here in Sony Vegas, the audio from the IC706 MK2G. Audio 1 2. The AC Mod standalone. The RE20 alongside uh, Pro Tools and the AC Mod standalone. Audio test 1 2 3. Now let's switch back to the regular mic. We'll unplug the mic. We'll unplug the um, quarter inch connector right behind the AC mod standalone. And now we use the mic, the SM5. Uh, do you want two? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. SM5 again, and the ICOM IC 7300. Now we'll go back to the RE20. Audio 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Testing 1, 2. Testing 1, 2. This is the RE20 alongside the AC Mod standalone with the IC7300.